The Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona for me personally is, is my biggest race of the year. It's the everything. It's when Formula One drivers, IndyCar drivers, NASCAR drivers, and the best of the sports car world show up to try and do it for 24 hours. You go Daytona first, then you go Sebring second, you have one monstrous start to the season and something that everybody's really looking forward to. The track is great. The scenery and where it's located is out of control. Not only is that a great track, it's a very cool venue and it was always one of those tracks that you kind of grew up watching and, and hoping to be at. Favorite highlights of the year for me, so looking forward to going there. It's one of the fastest street courses we go to. Going back there will be really exciting, especially such an important part of the championship. Watkins Glen is an icon of all the tracks in this country. It's definitely one of those awesome places to be on. I'm very happy that this series is going back there. It's a daunting, dying breed of racetrack. Super fast, carrying huge speed. But to go fast, you gotta lay it on the line. There's a lot of high speed stuff there. That's the most fun for the driver. When we really get to see the amount of grips that the car has and utilize that, that's always a fun thing. That's another fast track. That's incredible. And there's a great turnout with the fans and there's a great challenge for the driver. Yeah, Arizona's one of the best places we go. Fast, slow, elevation changes, a great part of the country to visit. Austin is a crazy event. The venue is beautiful. As a driver, it's, it's a true challenge to get around there fast, a true pleasant drive. You'll see European teams, American teams, and the grandstands, and the infield, and the spectators, it is packed. And then going into the night, you see the glowing brakes, the flames coming out, and as a race car driver, you love it.